scripted stories are a wonderful tool to help children learn the rules or expectations of various social situations. Here is some advice for writing your own scripted story. Begin by observing the child in the situation you are addressing. Maybe it's running in the classroom, maybe it's transitioning from outdoor play to indoors, or maybe it's getting on the bus to go on a field trip. Try to take on the child's perspective and include aspects of his or her views or feelings in the story. In the example of riding the bus, maybe the child is nervous about who he will sit with. Maybe he's scared because he gets car sick. Maybe he's afraid the bus will break down. Or maybe the bus is just too noisy for his liking. Be sure to include usual occurrences in the social situation, clear expectations, and the perspective of others. Let's go back to the bus example. Make sure to include usual occurrences, such as holding the railing when getting on or off the bus, saying hello and thank you to the driver, walking down the center aisle and finding a seat, and that the ride might be bumpy at times. Expectations might include remaining seated for the trip and using an inside voice while on the bus. And the perspective of others might include being tired, being overwhelmed, being excited, being scared, or having fun. There are three types of sentences used in scripted story writing. Descriptive, perspective, and directive. Descriptive sentences objectively define anticipated events, such as where the situation occurs, who is involved, what they are doing, and why. Perspective sentences describe the internal status of the person or persons involved, including their thoughts, feelings, or moods. Directive sentences are individualized statements of desired responses stated in a positive manner. They may begin with, I can try, or I will work on. There should not be too many directives in the story. A scripted story should have three to five descriptive and perspective sentences for each directive sentence. Be sure to write the story in the first person, on the child's level, using pictures that supplement the text that also fit within the child's skill level. You already did it, okay.